Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 137. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now, let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here. It is time. This is the last one. Uh, it's a new recording session today. So we're starting a new stream. Uh, but yes, this is the Class R1 World Tour. This is the final one of the professional series. And then we're moving on to pretty much the last legs. Um, I think for this stream, we'll be doing all of these, but... Uh, all the way up to class B. But we should be able to get about three, uh, two videos out of that. I'll put my one message in for the stream. Nice, Cotto. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so we're going to be starting off with Sedona Raceway, Road America, Camino Via de Montserrat, Le Mans, Silverstone, and then Miguelo. Let's get going. Put my phone on charge, leave your stream on, and just listen through my earphones while I, whilst I'm working so you'll get the luck. Hey, nice one, man. Very nice. Appreciate it, Cotto. You'll be able to listen to my pedanticness. Oh, this thing is an absolute beast. What the fuck? This car's actually um, level 974 performance index. But um, you can give it an extra 20 performance points just by removing the restrictor plates. And clearly it is faster when you do that. There's not really any other upgrades you can do to it, though, other than removing those plates. Which, I mean, makes sense. You shouldn't be able to do any upgrades beyond that. The thing, we're going to be going from this, and then we're going to be driving in ovals for four episodes. Just round and round and round and round and round. But at least we'll have... Uh, it will be much quicker, so... Hey, nice one, Cotto. How are you uh, enjoying the endurance events? How long are they, by the way, on average? I mean, you haven't really officially done more than me because you're doing the season mode. So just because you've got on to endurance events in season mode doesn't mean that you've done more. It took about 40 minutes. Ah, fair enough. That's not too bad. You've officially done events that are further up in the event list. Yeah. That doesn't mean you've done more overall. Ah, shit, the time is not going. Oh, you tit. Fucking hell. Ah, fair enough. That's not what you were told me last stream, because last stream you said you'd just done season mode. Beep, beep, get out of the way. Well, yeah, there's there's no way you finish the season mode and then done every event that's before the event list. <laughs> there's no way in hell. There is not enough time in the day to do that. A tarantula. And if your body going stiff and your spine going numb. So you didn't only do the season mode then. <laughs> so I was right. I was very much correct. Do 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 do. 
Oh, you penneth. Very nice. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm not really bothering with achievement hunting for this game. I'm, I'm literally just looking at completing all the events. All right, do you know what? I'll take that. A little bit of suspension damage, but that's fine. Like, this is pretty impressive how much I've actually done in this game. I think it's going to be quite fun, actually. Um... Oh, that's pretty sick. Who are you game sharing with, then? I do have to have a look, um, see if I can find someone that does have the Rally DLC for Horizon 1. Ah, oh, fair enough. So you basically just gave him a tenner. <laughs> and he's given you account, his account forever. Fair enough. Ah, oh, you bastard. I'm just waiting to see what uh, Christmas brings this year, because I, I can guarantee you I'm buying out of any Christmas money that I get. It's going straight towards Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, not Odyssey, um, Valhalla. Because obviously that's come out on Steam and I've wanted to play it on PC. I never actually finished Valhalla, um, but I've only got the base game on uh, PlayStation. So I thought, well, why not just get it on PC and then have that as, like, my main game for a while? Like what I've done with Odyssey, but, you know, actually play it and mess about with it. Because uh, apparently Valhalla runs pretty decently on, uh, what's it called? Um, Steam Deck, on the Steam Deck and PC, so... Gonna enjoy that. I I don't know. I just really haven't. After playing Modern Warfare 2, the Warzone one, it doesn't seem right. I'm not a fan of it. I'll be totally honest. I'm really. I don't know. I think it was a it was a good game. It might have been the fact that it was battle royale. To be fair. A really that I hate the battle royale format I think it's a terrible format for video games and it's just a really half-assed way of making a game like hmm how do we make a game exciting let's do some action-packed stuff no we'll make them run around for 20 minutes and then basically make it based off of luck at the end of the game to see who wins it seems like a very half-assed boring game mode that game devs just go cut got no ideas battle royale so if it goes on offer would you buy it? yeah I, I mean most of the time when call of duty goes on offer for like 30 percent off 40 percent off whatever i normally buy it so typically halfway through its life cycle 
I buy it and then play the absolute living fuck out of it. And then it's only... I, I, I only really play Call of Duty for about three or four months at a time. So that's why I always buy it on cheap. But I... The thing is, I'm slightly staying away from Call of Duty because of the fact that Steam doesn't support it on Steam Deck. Because the amount of playtime that I've got... Com like, my PC to Steam Deck playtime comparison is probably 30 to 70% at the moment. I have this beast of a PC that can play some really good games. But I am... Sat there... Playing it on a Steam Deck. A handheld game. Gaming system, but... I'm enjoying it. I kid you not, like, a lot of people that have PCs that are like... Oh, well, I don't really travel, so... I don't think I'll use a Steam Deck. Nah, I'm using it a lot. It's a re really good thing. Fair enough. I might, um... I, I really want to play Ghosts. I, I, I really want to play Call of Duty's, like, the older ones. The ones that everyone used to play and be like, Ah, oh, these are so good! But I don't want to play them on a console because they look terrible on console. I have a PC that can run them at, like, 250 frames a second plus. Like, my PC would chew through any video game that came out from, like, 2010 and earlier. That's fair enough, actually, Cotto. Fair enough, man. The only problem is, um, until the Activision acquisition goes through, um, Call of Duty is still going to be... What in the fuck was that? Call of Duty is still going to be very similar to what it was before. Um... They're not going to do very good sales. Um, we are going to have to wait for the Xbox acquisition to go through before we start seeing, you know, Call of Duty actually being sold at a discount. Because you, you look at um, some of the newer stuff. Even some of the old stuff, like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, is still being sold for $44.99 on Steam. But if you're lucky enough, it will go to 25% off. Or 30% off. You know, it's fucking stupid. That is crazy, to be fair. Once Xbox does the acquisition, though, it will come out on Game Pass. Guaranteed. Once it's gone through. Why wouldn't it? They put all the new ones out and all the old ones too. Get more players in the game. The one thing I would like is for Xbox to make Xbox Game Pass on Steam. Like if they could do a deal with people and game developers to make a Game Pass alternative... Honestly, this, these faster cars are just so stupid in this game. Like, look, I've broke way too early there, and it's still struggling. Like, I think the game just really struggles to give recommendations for where to slow down. Because obviously, going from car to car, it's really difficult to get used to braking lines. That's why I keep the um, braking line on. Um, just because of the fact that every car is so different that I need to know a reference point of where to brake. You're doing what I normally do and can't drive. <laughs> wow. Boop, 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 boop. Um, alright, not bad. I'll take my upgrades. Thank you very much! Well, I forgot to press start recording, so...
I basically just missed that entire <laughs> start part. The start of the animation is just going to be cut off in the video, which is great. Oh, I've just realized I haven't got any car sounds. I muted it on voice meter and now I can't hear it. Fuck's sake. Alright, let's get on this next straight. I got an ad again. There is so many adverts on Twitch now, but if you want to get actually, like, paid from adverts and get ad revenue, you have to run a minimum amount now. Otherwise, they just don't pay you. Oh, that's so much better. Uh, I don't think so. No, because mine is set for three ads an hour. Uh, three minutes of ads every hour. Which is lower than what TV does. TV is 12 minutes per hour. Um, and they're legally not allowed to go above 15. But the average is about 12 minutes an hour. Because that's all I want to set it to. That's the limit. Like, um, I'm I'm not out here to like. If if I could have done two minutes, I think two minutes would have been the sweet spot for a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I suppose when you're watching something live, it feels like a lot more. Um, but yeah, I I would have much rather put like two minutes of ads. I think that would have been the sweet spot. But the difference is that two minutes of ads, I would be getting, you know, a minute less of revenue, which that's not the problem, really. But as well as that, they have pretty much almost half the amount of revenue for those two minutes. So mathematically, I'd be getting like 75% taken off of my revenue. Hey, nice one. Nice one, Cardo. There are some random keys in there mixed in with... Um, what is it? Some ones that I've bought. Um, I know there's gas station simulators in there. Uh, gravel, which is a really fun racing game. Well, don't ask me. They are random games. <laughs> Dude... Dude, dude. I didn't buy it. I said they were random games. Dude, dude. Ah, fuck. Yeah, it, it does um, interrupt the viewing experience. It's mostly from... Oh, fucking hell. Uh, most of the keys that I give away are from um, Humble Bundle and stuff like that. But because Humble Bundle, when you buy bundles, um, they typically throw in pretty much throwaway keys. So, um, stuff like that typically will just get put in. I have no clue what most of the games are that they do on a Humble Bundle, so... But unfortunately, I don't have the money to give away a AAA game every, you know, every time I want to do a giveaway. Do, 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 do. Wow. Wow. Yo, Rack! Thank you very much for the tier one sub, my man. Legend. It's finally working. <laughs> For something to hold. I don't think it was because the PayPal got banned. I think it was because I changed the um, tiers on it. But yeah, that was um, that was quite long. 
I changed the tiers though because I wanted to uh, rename them and like resort them out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Cotto, so I got, um, I opened my Christmas cards early. I don't, I don't care if it's bad luck. <laughs> I, w I wanted to open them so that I could actually, like, see my Christmas cards before throwing them away, like, two days later. Make, m make my setup a little bit Christmassy, you know. Um, but yeah, I got, opened my Christmas cards, had some money in there. And I straight away bought Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so. <laughs> Open cards, insta put in bin. Yeah, some people. I, I'm i not a fan of giving cards. Um, as much to the fact. Because when I receive them, normally they do get thrown away pretty quickly. There's not really much value to them. Um, he didn't think to get me a present. Well, no, because I'm broke at the moment. <laughs> that money was for me to buy something for myself. Hence why it was a present to me. <laughs> but yeah, like, I I don't understand. Like, if, if a Christmas... The problem is, right, a lot of people are like... Um, hey, no worries, Cotto. A lot of people are like, well, you need a Christmas card to give to someone. No, I don't. Should have saved it and invested it into stocks. Fuck off. I'm not dealing with fucking stocks. <laughs> not a chance in hell. Uh, yeah. So, oh, I'm doing terribly with it. I'm not a fan of these cards because they're so twitchy. Just don't like them. Uh, but yeah, um, I just don't see the point of it because Christmas cards as well, if you're looking for like an actually decent looking Christmas card that doesn't look like it was just printed on a fucking printer, like a basic inkjet from 2006, unless you want an actual decent looking card... You're going to have to spend a pound, two pound on them. If you're doing that for every single person, right? Following you on this account since 2017. That is mad. There's quite a few. Um, there was one person that came back after like three years. Um, came back and... After... What? Three years of not being on the channel? Came back. And then, um... What's it called? The day after, was like, Here! And donated 100 quid. And I was like, Fucking hell! Madman! That 100 quid went straight towards the Steam Deck, to be fair. But since having that Steam Deck, honestly, it's made my productivity so much better because I know now that... If I edit something on my PC, I can just go and swap over to my Steam Deck and continue my game there. So I can actually like, you know, uh, I'll, I'll wait 10 minutes. What I used to do was be like, right, I'll finish this. I'll wait 10 minutes, finish this game. And then, um, what is it? Then I'll edit because I know I can't use my PC once it's like rendering. Now, because I can, I can just get straight on, edit, and then get on the Steam Deck. I know it doesn't sound like, oh, that should make it more productive, but it does. Oh, I think the biggest dono would have been from um, a bloke called Sir Fallen. He donated $250 worth of bits. Like, that's $250 that comes to me. That would be the biggest one in one go. Um, other than that, yeah, that that's pretty much the biggest one. Um, so if anyone wants to beat that... <laughs> I 
I don't think he'd mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's that? Get out the way! Oh, um... Che, you might want to, uh... <laughs> brace yourself for what I'm about to tell you. I, I tell everyone in stream because they think I'm a lunatic. So, I'm currently playing this on an Xbox 360. Fucking awesome. With a PS5 controller. I am playing an Xbox 360 with a PS5 controller. <laughs> Mainly because I didn't have the money to get an Xbox 360 controller and I found the 360 controllers were uncomfortable. So I just bought an adapter that I can use my PS5 controllers and technically now I can use my PS5 controller for anything and just only buy PS5 controllers. <laughs> I I don't like 360 controllers. I think they're awesome for first person shooters. I'll be totally honest. I think they're awesome for that. But for racing games, the shape of the trigger is horrendous. Um, it's a very narrow trigger. So when you're constantly holding down on it and putting pressure on it to like full throttle, after some time, it does actually start hurting your finger. Or my finger, it hurts anyways. Um, so I prefer the PS5 one because it's sort of shaped to around your finger a little bit better. Um, it depends on the controller as well, but the original, like, Xbox 360 ones, the, you know, the official Microsoft ones, they have really narrow triggers and they're not very comfortable. So the option was either to find a custom controller that was slightly different that I could use on a 360. Quite challenging. Or, I found this uh, USB dongle. It's by the same companies. It, it's a little bit... I, I was slightly reluctant to get it initially. Um, because it's by a similar company that makes um, controller cheat devices as well. Um, ones that you plug into your console and you can run scripts. This one doesn't allow you to run scripts, so it's literally just to convert from one controller to another um but it is made by similar companies but i mean i it's it's more an accessibility thing like if you find a certain controller is more comfortable but you are forced to use that's the one thing i don't like about consoles the fact that it forces you to use the controller that comes with it. Or you have to buy really expensive custom ones. This, I've just put a dongle in. I've put my PS5 controller in. Sorted. Problem solved. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, because I'm doing this series on Forza, all of the Forzas. So I'm playing Forza Motorsport 3, Motorsport 4, Motorsport 5. Um, all the ones on Xbox would have been fine. Except for the fact I also had two broken Xbox One controllers, so I'd need to buy another one of them. Which was another reason why I went for this dongle. But also, um, Forza Motorsport 4 doesn't actually emulate on PC very well. Some reason. Also, while I'm streaming, emulation can drain a significant... I've got a good build, but I'm also running very high quality settings to make sure that they're good because I'm recording for YouTube at the same time. I'm recording four videos simultaneously. So, you know, there's a lot of strain that goes on my PC while I'm recording for YouTube. It, I wouldn't be able to emulate and record and stream at the same time. It, it just wouldn't be viable. I think I'm just going to give... Uh, the tickets are for the giveaways, so... Basically, you get yourself tickets, we spin it on a wheel, people who have more tickets have more chances, but you also have plenty of chances to get free ones as well, with your channel points, so. 
No. Basically, the people who are here the most active and doing the most in the stream get the higher chance. Whether that's watching, interacting, anything really. So, supporting via monetary means. <laughs> I don't have to go downstairs in 25 minutes because I've got to um, feed the dog. Oh, what? Ah, oh, I have my muscle memory as I was going around that corner. Expecting it to go straight on. Nearly 60k channel points. Wondering if I should spend them all on this. <laughs> um, the tickets, you can only spend up to 5k to get 10 tickets. There is a, a ticket limit. So, Ghost's most underrated COD. I, I will agree. I think it's underrated only because apparently everyone hates Ghosts. And I thought it was actually pretty decent. But, um... I'll also say the most overrated Call of Duty. People are going to hate me for this. Call of Duty Black Ops. One, two, three. They're not any more special than other Call of Duties. That's not to say they're not good, but they're definitely overrated as for what they should be. Um, that could be the fact that I didn't play it in its prime when it came out, but it is a bit overrated. BO3 definitely 100% overrated, but I think 1 and 2 are slightly overrated as well. Um, but then again, I haven't played it on PC, and I know a lot of first-person shooters just feel so much better on PC. So, it could be that as well. Tag, what is up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty decent stream today. Especially Cold War and Vanguard. Those two are a bit shit, yeah. So yeah, when um when it comes to um the one hour mark, I'm gonna have to go downstairs um and feed the dog. Uh, because dogs need feeding. Um, and that's my job. Thanks. Bonk. <laughs> Almost free. Well, I couldn't put free ticket because it wouldn't let me put zero channel points. So I had to put one and say it was basically almost free. Because literally, as soon as you join, it's just free. Uh, I, I will show you after this race. I'll show you a picture. She's fucking adorable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no worries, Cotto. <laughs> Enjoy your almost free ticket. Let's go. Oh, Hans! What up? I almost missed your message there. Dog doesn't need food, just freeze the blocks of ice. <laughs> I mean, that is one of the best ways to keep a dog entertained during the summer. You, um... Freeze something, anything, uh, in water. <laughs> just lock in garden for a week. <laughs> was, was it your dogs that were mental? I can't remember. I can't remember, but there was... Yeah, okay, yeah. Because <laughs> I remember there was someone from college whose dogs were absolutely fucking nuts. Ooh, <laughs> 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 Jesus. 
This playlist is fucking mint. Like, you can just vibe for hours to this playlist. Ugh, you bastard. So yeah, I'll do this race and then I'll do the next one. Uh, and then I'll feed the dog. It'll be a bit later for a dinner, but oh well. <laughs> Hella pay to win. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Because most people that will sit and watch. I suppose. Yeah, we're pretty much doing one after every race. So. This cold is pretty bad though this year. Shame you live so far now. Could have done an IRL driving stream, ha. Huh? I'm trying to buy a 350Z. Oh! Chat, do you think it's story time? I haven't told Rack about uh, what happened on my driving test. Do you think it's story time? <laughs> I think it's story time. So, my my driving test, I've, I've told this story a couple of times. Driving test was pretty good. <laughs> uh, I've been learning since 2019, passed in 2022. So it, it took like three years. You, you wouldn't think I've passed from how bad my driving is in this game, but anyways. <laughs> oh, you fucking bastard. Stay on the track. Um, driving test comes along. They've already delayed it. So I was supposed to have done it in August, but they delayed it until uh, September because for some unknown reason. Which already I was pissed off with the DVSA because that meant I had to pay for four weeks more driving lessons to stay in practice. Um, and sort of stay in my top form to make sure when I do my test I'm confident. They, We obviously phoned up and were like, well this isn't fair. I paid for a test, I now have to pay for four weeks more stuff. That's a bit of a piss take. Ended up having to delay it again. So, eight weeks later, go on my test. We're fine. We start the test. Stalled twice. By that point, I'm like, I fucked this. Because I got told that the first stall, as long as you're safe, is fine. But if you stall, like, twice, especially twice in a row, pretty much guaranteed fail. Uh, that, that would have been back in Swindon. It was about two months ago. So. Um. Fucking hell. So. Was doing my test. Stalled twice. So I was like, ah, I fucked it. Right. I got a minor. I got, I got two minors for the stalls. So he didn't even count that as a major. Right. I passed, by the way. So. Afterwards, I was like, whoa. How? <laughs> Mick will ruin the clutch. I'm actually pretty decent, to be fair. <laughs> I'm actually pretty decent at driving. It's just that in that test scenario, it's quite stressful. Um, I had one minor for hesitation because he wanted me to pull on the right-hand side. But we were going up a hill and I couldn't see the road further than like 40 meters. So I didn't feel safe doing that. Apparently it was safe. But a car came literally as I was getting towards it. So. I was like hmm. pretty smug about that one. Um, but he still gave me a minor for that. He gave me a minor for being too close to the car in front. 
And the final miner was... Speeded. <laughs> I got caught speeded on my driving test. <laughs> and I still passed. <laughs> it's so brilliant. I don't quite got to burn out the tires. What do you mean? I know how to throttle control. I don't just slam the throttle and lift the clutch. <laughs> still twice and was speeding and still passed, yeah. <laughs> I'll be totally honest. I, I understand the speed limits, but sometimes I think they are too low and then too high. Like some sections, it's like, why on earth is the speed limit 40 here, but not, but it's 30 there? Like, and as well, I, th I think the police, like, I know that there are people that are unconfident with driving, but I think that should be kept strictly to, like, closed circuit tracks. So they should take you on your first test while you're getting used to a car before going on public roads, because there are closed circuits that you can learn to drive on, like, that are, like, actual roads. You should have to go there. Because I think anyone that drives under the speed limit should also get in as much trouble as going over the speed limit. Hands down, unless you have your hazards on to show that you are a hazard. You can, but when have you, like, you very rarely do. Like, as soon as you speed, oh, look, you've got a speeding fine in the post. You go under the speed limit, though. Nah. It's just stupid. I think there should be laws that force people to go above a certain speed. Like 60 to 70 miles an hour. Anything else on the motorway, fucking fine. You're getting a fine, get the fuck in the bin kind of vibe. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.